This video is created by Jagrat Creation. For the students who are reading for inter-CI, IPC or IPCC, this video is also useful to the students who are reading for FYBCOM and also those students who are reading for professional courses like CSICW who has this chapter as a part of their syllabus in subject of accountancy. The name of the chapter insurance claim for loss of stock and loss of profit. Here I am going to consider one sum wherein I am going to calculate the insurance claim for loss of profit. Now loss of profit policy is taken and the insurance claim is to be worked out. Just read the sum on the screen. I will explain and solve the sum. You must have observed in this sum that the fire occurred on 1st of March 2015. The business was disturbed up to 31st of August 2015 and the indemnity period as per insurance contract is 6 months. You are given the details of previous financial year about the net profit, insured standing charges and uninsured standing charges. He has taken an insurance policy of 165000 There is a special circumstance clause due is that. If there is a 10% upward trend, 10% upward trend is found in the current year as compared to the previous year, that also should be considered while calculating the amount of claim. So this is 10% should be made in respect of upward trend in turnover. This is known as special circumstance clause. The company incurred the additional expenses amounted to 9,300. So immediately after the fire, and but for this expenditure, the turnover during the period of dislocation would have been only 55,000. See, here the company has made additional expenditure to promote the sales in a indemnity period or say claim period. How much expenses are incurred? 9,300. Now, 9,300 expenses, if not incurred, the sales in an indemnity period would be 55,000. That's an important point to be noticed by you. Now, for the purpose of solving the sum, first of all, I will work out the claim period or say indemnity period. Claim period is either the period of indemnity specified in the policy or the actual period of dislocation after the fire, whichever is less. Here the date of fire is 1st of March 2015. This is the time taken to re-establish the business. That is 6 months. In the insurance contract also, the indemnity period is 6 months. Both the periods are same. But out of these two, whichever is less is considered as a claim period. So claim period is from 1st of March 2015 to 31st of August 2015. This is my claim period. For this claim period, how much loss of profit has occurred? And how much is the amount that I, that I can claim before the insurance company? That is a point to be considered. That is a point to be studied in this sum. Now for the purpose of solving this sum, I prescribe the following steps for the purpose of solving the sum. This is the claim period that I write at the, at the top of my solution. First of all, I would like to work out the rate of earning, rate of gross profit that has been earned during the last financial year. Here the fire has occurred in the 2015 Last financial year is 2014. So 
what was by rate of earning to be claimed under insurance policy that may be also identified as rate of gross profit that I will work out first of all. So first step for the purpose of solving the sum, the rate of gross profit, the rate of earning which I intend to claim under a loss of profit policy that is the first rate, first rate that I am required to work out. How to work it out? Rate of earning is equal to net profit plus insured selling charges divided by sales of last financial year into 100. So after fire, because of fire, not only there is a loss of profit, there is a non-recovery of fixed expenses. So when I want to make a claim before the insurance company, I should make a claim not only for the net profit, but also the fixed expenses or the insured fixed expenses. So this is how the rate of earning is worked out. Now find out this information from the details given to you in the sum. Just observe. Net profit for the last financial year. Insured standing charges for the last financial year. 90,000 plus 60,000 will come in the numerator. Turnover of last financial year 5 lakhs. That will go in the denominator. Multiplied by 100. So 1 lakh 50,000 divided by 5 lakhs into 100. 30% is the rate of earning for the last financial year. And this rate of earning is likely to occur in the current year where the fire has taken place. So this is the rate of earning. This is the rate at which loss occurs to be on short sale. So because of fire, how much is the loss of sale, short sale that has occurred that I want to find out in the step number two. So in step number two, I want to find out short sale. What is short sale? The sales that has occurred in this claim period, that sales is to be compared with the sales that has occurred in the previous financial year that corresponds to this period. Now, in previous financial year, that is 1st of March 2014 to 1st of August 2014, 6 months. How much was the sales in that 6 months? In the last financial year. As per special circumstance clause, you are required to add 10% because there is an expected rise of 10%. So that is the expected sales in this indemnity period. Now that expected sales will be compared with the actual sales in the indemnity period and this is how we get the short sale. Observe it now. Turnover for the corresponding period of dislocation in 12 months immediately before the date of fire to like 40,000. As per special circumstance clause, there is a 10% increase. 10% should be made in respect of upward trend. So 2 like 40,000 plus 10%, 24,000. So this is the expected sales in an indemnity period. That is also known as adjusted standard turnover. This is to be compared with the actual sales that has occurred. Now the actual sales that has occurred in a period of dislocation is 80,000 given to you in the sum that is deducted that works out to be short sale 184,000. Notice that in this indemnity period the sales has occurred 80,000. Now this 80,000 is the sales has occurred because there is an increased cost of working, the additional expenses are incurred to promote the sale. If those additional expenses are not incurred, then the sales would have been only 55,000. The actual sales has occurred 80,000. But because of the increased cost of working, the actual sales has occurred 80,000. That is because of increased cost of working, additional expenses incurred to promote the sales. If those expenses are not incurred, the sales would have been only 55,000. So additional sales could be achieved because of additional expenses is 80,000 minus 55,000, that is 25,000. So 25,000 is the additional sales achieved by additional expenditure on that 25,000 at the rate of 30%. That is 25,000 into 30%, 7,500 is the advantage that insurance company gains by increased cost of working. 
So increased cost of working claim will be limited to 25,000 into 33%, that is 7,500. I am going to explain this once again in detail after a couple of minutes. But this is how the short sales is worked out, 184,000. Now I want to work out the insurance claim that I, insurance policy that I have taken is sufficient or whether the insurance policy taken is under insured or over insured that I want to work out. So on the basis of this information, I want to work out how much insurance policy I should have taken for the purpose of finding out the insurance policy that I should have taken or the insurance coverage required, I am required to find out adjusted annual turnover. Now before this adjusted annual turnover, on this short sales of 184,000 at the rate of 30%, the actual loss of profit occurs to me is 184,000 into 30 percent. This is a loss that has occurred. Now, if I have gone for over insurance or if I have taken in the insurance policy as required, my claim would be 55,200 for loss of profit. That is without additional expenditure incurred and savings in fixed cost. Now, I want to find out how much coverage I should have taken. What should have been my insurance policy? For that purpose, I want to find out the adjusted annual turnover. How to find out this adjusted annual turnover? For that, find out sales for 12 months till the date of fire. That should be changed in light of special circumstance clause. So here, fire has occurred on 1st of March 2015. 12 months up to 28th of February 2015. That period is to be considered as a period standard for turnover. So here I am required to work out the turnover for 12 months up to 28th of February 2015 is 6x. To that 10% rise is to be made because of special circumstance clause. So my adjusted annual turnover is 6,60,000. For this 6,60,000 into 30%, I should have taken an insurance policy of 6,60,000 into 30%. So my insurance policy should be 198000 Have I taken the insurance policy for 198000 No. My insurance policy is less than 198000 So average clause will be applied. Before applying this average clause, let me work out the claim that I can make for increased cost of working or additional expenses incurred to promote the sales. Observe it now. Now computation of claim for increased in cost of working. For that I am going to compare three things. One actual expenditure incurred. That works out to be 9300. The expenses are subject to average clause in light of insured standing charges and uninsured standing charges. For that two methods are suggested. Increased cost of working 9300 is to be scaled down to a proportion of insurance taken that is net profit plus insured standing charges for which the insurance is taken and the net profit plus all standing charges is kept in denominator. So this 9300 9, will be scaled down in light of proportion of uninsured standing charges to net profit plus all standing charges. So here 9,300, this is net profit plus insured standing charges and net profit divided by all insured standing charges, all standing charges, 60,000 are the insured standing charges, 5,000 is the uninsured standing charges that is kept in the denominator. So if you work out this ratio, 9,000, so 9,300 subject to this reduction is 9,000. This, this proportion can be worked out in an alternative way as suggested by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. That is actual expenditure incurred multiplied by coverage required divided by coverage required plus uninsured standing charges. So 9300 multiplied by coverage required 198000 divided by 198000 into plus 5000 that works out to be 907. Now, as I explained to you, because of these expenses of 9,300, the sales could be achieved to the extent of 80,000. 
Had there been no such expenses, the sales would have been 55,000. So 80,000 minus 55,000, 25,000 is the additional sales that could be achieved because of these additional expenses. So claim is reduced to the extent of sales achieved multiplied by rate of earning. So the third constraint, gross profit on sales generated through additional expenses. So 80,000 minus 55,000, 25,000 into 30 percent, 7,500. Now 1, 2 and 3, 9,300, 9,000 9, and 7,500, whichever is less is the claim amount. So 1, 2 and 3, claim amount is 7,500. Or alternatively, if you compare 9,300, 9071 and 7500, then also the minimum of the three numbers is 7500. This is the method followed by Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. So claim for additional cost to promote the sale is 7500. Now I want to work out the actual claim by applying average loss. So calculation of claim, claim for loss of profit, plus claim for additional expenses minus savings in fixed expenses that could not be that were not incurred in a claim period so that savings in fixed expenses 2700 is deducted because these expenses are not paid not incurred so we can't make a claim for that because insurance contract is a contract for recovering the loss not for making the profit so this is the claim amount 60,000. Now I should have taken a policy of 198,000. Against that, I have taken a policy of what amount? Just find out in the sum. I have taken a policy for 165,000. So there is an under insurance. So 165,000 divided by 198,000 is the proportion. That proportion of risk is being covered. And because See, I have taken a policy of 1,65,000. I, should, I should have taken a policy of 1,98,000. So there is an under insurance. So the proportion of risk covered will be applied to the law 60,000. So 60,000 amount of policy, 1,65,000. Divided by coverage that I should have taken, 1,65,000, 1,98,000. This is the proportion to be applied to 60,000 to have, find out the amount of claim. If you work it out, the claim will be 50,000. 50, so this is how a claim for lost profit is worked out. If you want to see the answer, how would it appear? This is part 1, this is part 2, this is part 3. This is how the sum gets solved. I have tried to explain you this sum, writing steps for every part to make it clear to you. Just observe the sum on the screen. This is how it gets solved. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you.